No other ethnic group has been a slave on American soil. No other ethnic group has been a slave on American soil. Uh, that is one thing that other immigrant groups haven't had to face. I love being black. I love being called black. I love being an American. I love being a black American. But as a black man in this country, I think it's a shame that every few years, we get a change of name. Since those first ships arrived here from Africa that came across the sea, there were already black men in this country who were free. And as for those who came over on those terrible boats, they were called nigger and slave and told what to do and how to behave. And then Master started tripping, doing his midnight tipping down to the slave shacks where he forced he and great-great-grandma to be together. And if great-great-grandpa protested, he got tired and feathered. And at the same time, the black men in the country who were free were mating with the tribes like the Apache and the Cherokee. And as a result of all that, we're a parade of every shade. And at this late day and age, you can be sure there ain't too many of us in this country whose bloodline is pure. But according to a geological, geographical genealogy study published in Time magazine, <laughs> the black African people were the first on the scene. So for what it's worth, the black African people were the first on earth. And through migration, our characteristics started to change and rearrange to adapt to whatever climate we migrated to. And that's how I became me, and you became you. So if we're gonna go back, let's go all the way back. And if Adam was black and Eve was black, then that kind of makes it a natural fact that everybody in America is an African-American. <laughs> everybody in Europe is an African-European. Everybody in the Orient is an African-Asian, and so on and so on. That is, if the origin of man is what we're going to go on. And if one drop of black blood makes you black like they say, then everybody's black anyway. <laughs> so quit trying to change my identity. I'm already who I was meant to be. I'm a black American, born and raised. And Brother James Brown wrote a wonderful phrase. Say it loud, I'm black and I'm proud. Say it loud, I'm black and I'm proud. Because I'm proud to be black. And I ain't never lived in Africa. And because my great-great-granddaddy on my daddy's side did, don't mean I want to go back. Now, I have nothing against Africa. It's where some of the most beautiful places and people in the world are found. But I've been blessed to go a lot of places in this world. If you ask me where I choose to live, I pick America, hands down. Now, by and by, we were called Negroes. And after a while, that name was banished. Anyway, Negro is just how you say black in Spanish. Then we were called colored. But shit, everybody's one color or another. And I think it's a shame that we hold that against each other. And it seems like we reverted back to a time when being called black was an insult. Even if it was another black man who said it, a fight would result. Because we've been so brainwashed that black was wrong. To leave the yellow niggas and the black niggas couldn't get along. <laughs> but then came the 1960s when we struggled and died to be called equal and black. And we walk with pride, with our hair cells high, and our shoulders pushed back. And black was beautiful. But I guess that wasn't good enough. Because now, here they come with some other stuff. Who comes up with this shit anyway? Was it one or a group of niggas just sitting around one day? <laughs> Feeling a little insecure again about being called black. And decided that... African American sounded a little more exotic. <laughs> well, I think you were being a little more neurotic. It's that same mentality that got Amos and Andy put off the air because they were embarrassed about the way the characters spoke. And as a result of that action, a lot of wonderful black actors ended up broke. Well, we were just laughing and having fun about ourselves. So I say, fuck you if you can't take a joke. <laughs> you didn't see the Beverly Hillbillies being protested by white folk. And if you think that cost you think, 
that being called African American sets all black people's minds at ease? Since we affectionately call each other nigga, I affectionately say to you, nigga, please. <laughs> How come I didn't get a chance to vote on who I'd like to be? Who gave you the right to make that decision for me? I ain't under your rule or in your dominion, and I'm entitled to my own opinion. Now, there are some African Americans here, but they recently moved here from places like Kenya, Ethiopia, Zambia, Zimbabwe, and Zaire. <laughs> but not a brother whose family has lived in this country for generations, occupying space in all the locations. New York, Miami, LA, Detroit, Chicago. Even if he's wearing a dashiki and sporting an afro. <laughs> and if you go to Africa in search of your race, you'll find out quick, you're not an African American. You're just a black American in Africa, taking up space. <laughs> Why you keep trying to attach yourself to a continent where even if you got the chance to go and you went, most people there wouldn't even claim you as one of them, as a purebred daughter or son of them. Your heritage is right here now, no matter what you call yourself or what you say. And a lot of people died to make it that way. And if you think America is the leader on inequality and suffering and grieving, how come there's so many people coming and so few leaving? Rather than all this fine thought with America shit you're promoting, if you want to change something, use your privilege. Get to the polls. Come to voting. All the wonderful black Americans who served in the armed forces and gave their lives in all the wars, they didn't do that for Timbuktu or Cape Town or Kenya. They died for Mississippi and Alabama and Georgia and Louisiana, Texas and Virginia. Need I continue? And if you don't acknowledge that, if you don't claim that, then you're playing right into the hand of the white supremacists and the Ku Klux Klan who claim that they own this land. We went through the civil rights movement. Dr. Martin Luther King gave his life so that you could have equal status. We withstood the dogs, the fire hoses, the beatings, the bombings, the burnings, the maimings, the murders, and everything else they threw at us. God knows we've earned the right to be called American Americans. and to be free at last. And rather than you moving forward with progress, you're dwelling in the past. We've struggled too long. We've come too far. Instead of focusing on who we were, let's be proud of who we are. We're the only people whose name is always a trend. When's this shit gonna end? Look at all the different colors of our skin. Black is not our color, it's our core. It's what we've been living and fighting and dying for. But if you choose to be called African-American, and that's your preference, then I'll give you that reference. But I know on this issue I don't stand alone on my own. And if I do, then let me be me. And I'd appreciate it if when you see me, you'd say, there goes a man who says it loud. I'm black, I'm black, I'm a black American, and I'm proud because I love being an American, and I love being black. I love being called black. Yeah, I said it, and I don't take it back. See, to equate African American with terms like Italian American, Polish American, Russian American, is to uh, destroy the reality of how we got in this country. We did not get into America with our nationalities intact. Africa is not a nationality. If you are from Nigeria and you have become a naturalized American citizen and you want to call yourself a Nigerian American, well, you help yourself. But that's not how we got here. We did not pass through Ellis Island. We did not take the course that qualifies you uh, to take a test for citizenship. That's not how we got here. 
We're not no damn immigrants to this country. We were brought here against our will. We didn't come because we had booked passage on a passenger ship and we were so glad to be here and this was the land of opportunity and freedom and equality and justice for us and we were looking to jump into the melting pot. That's not our history. And so when you just want to use this term African-American, you're using it as a cover to hide yourself from what actually happened to you because you don't want to face the facts of your own reality. We're here to make sure that there's a gate up.